Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. I went to T-Mobile today and I got a new phone line and picked up this because it was free. This is the Motorola Razor 2023. This is not the Razor Plus, so there was only one color to choose from. Let's open this up. I was very surprised this was free. Compared to some of the other ones that were free, like the, I think it's like the OnePlus N500, there was also the Samsung, one of the Samsungs. All the other ones are free, had like two days battery life. But this one, it was only, when we read about it, it was like 14 hours. But I went with this just because it can fit in the pocket. Before I get to phone, let's first look at what else came in the box. All right, so it still uses a physical SIM. Here's a SIM ejector tool, terms and conditions, regulatory information, and a USB Type-C cable. Type-C mail on both ends. And that's it. And here's the item. It's a greenish color. I'm not sure what kind of material this is, but it's like plastic, there's texture on it. It's two cameras, a flash, LCD display, this Motorola Razor. Here's my iPhone, the XS, with this mine's the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's a little bit taller than my phone, even with the case. But the highlight is, I can close it. The SIM port is on this side here. Then on the other side, we got, I'll presume these are volume, power, USB-C ports here on the bottom, microphone, speaker, I think these are mics also. Let's see if it powers up. Five seconds passed. All right, boot time is about 25 seconds or so. All right, let me set this up. I think there's a screen protector on this already. See this? I feel it. It feels like there's a screen protector on it already. So while that's downloading, let's pop this out here. In the manual, it just said there was an eSIM. It did not mention anything about 
a support for a micro SD card. But I think I'll put one in there just to see if it works. No, I don't need copy. It's a new device. I'll skip this for now. Oh, there's fingerprint. I did not even realize that this power button can also function as a fingerprint reader. Stick with one fingerprint for now. So these are the apps that they're going to install. So that, earlier I mentioned that I think I suspected there was a screen protector. Yes, there is. And this over here has a warning saying not to remove it. Some warning for the phone. Check the buttons. I just press the volume up, volume down, caption media. Oh, there's live caption. That's interesting. Or gestures. Okay. I'll do this later. Okay. It says, welcome to your razor. With the screen closed, the volume buttons are reversed. Pressing this one here, before it was volume up, and now it's volume down. Or if I press the volume down as before, now the middle one, this is volume up. I'll take some getting used to for this phone. Add additional panels. Hmm. Hold, drag, and rearrange. Okay. 
this is going to take some getting used to. Testing one, two, how's my audio? Three, four, five. This is just auto generated title. Here. Testing one, two, how's my audio? Three, four, five. Oh, the live caption. Testing one, two, how's my audio? Three, four, five. Let me see if I can turn off. Yep. If I just tap this now, I turn off the live caption. The volume is okay. Indoors, we're gonna have to see how outdoor will fare. But here's a closer look at the hinge. All right, now from what I read, the battery life is about 14 hours, which is pretty short compared to the other phones that are available at the store, the other free phones that are available at the store. But I think 14 hour, hours is just enough for one day. And if I'm trying to use this for more than a day, I always need to bring a travel charger. This was the Motorola Razr 5G, 128 gigs, green. Not the 5G Plus. The 5G Plus, I think, was more expensive. There were three colors available, but I have opted for the, the free one. All right. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Awkward Hamster. Bye.